By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to 11th edition, where we take an existing magic card and design 10 more versions of it. I'm Tim. And I'm Robbie. Today's card is Prodigal Sorcerer. Two and a blue for a human wizard creature. Tap, do one damage to any target, and it's a 1-1. Kind of a funny card to be doing on 11th edition, because we wouldn't see this card nowadays. No, no, it is very much an old school card. Do you know the nickname for this card? I do. It's Tim. It is Tim. Tim, nickname is because of the movie Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Tim the Enchanter. I got that a lot growing up. Oh, Tim, like the Enchanter? Yeah, yeah, I like that. <laughs> My second edition card is Tim Duncan not appearing in this game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You'll find that as a uh, running theme through my card names. Alrighty. Tap, Tim does damage to one target. And then whenever an opponent draws a card, untap Tim. Two damage per turn cycle. Multiplayer, you get to start ramping up to three, four, five damage per turn cycle. This can def punish players, but it's also a creature, an actual target on the board that's easy to get rid of. It can be used as a political piece as well too. Okay, if you don't give me the thing I want, you're going to be taking three or four extra damage a turn cycle just from this. Mm -hmm. If someone like draws four cards at once, you don't get the chance to tap between each of those draws. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, you would have four untaps go on the stack. Correct. If it's Tim Duncan, shouldn't it have like reach or something? Yeah, (laughs) we we could certainly do that. (laughs) 21, so you can make make it a 2-1. He's a 2-1 then. <laughs> On the spot. You get to use symmetrical effects a little bit more, Howling mind sort of things. My third edition is Prodigal Plunderer. Prodigal, it means like someone who's like spending lavishly. Tap, Prodigal Plunderer deals one damage to any target. That permanence controller or that player creates a treasure token. It's either helping an opponent out. What red does is a lot of do something now, who cares about the future? Or it could be used as red ramp just by hitting either yourself or one of your creatures. Some sort of deal, your opponent says, hey, you know what? If you want to shoot me, that's cool. Maybe I won't attack you this turn. I'm going to use that extra mana to get ahead. This works really good with the uh, enraged dinosaurs. So you're enraging your dinosaur and you're getting some more treasure for some more dinosaurs. I was inspired by acorn catapult, flinging acorns and then squirrels running after them. We need more squirrel type stuff in Magic. (laughs) Do you have a favorite squirrel card? Do you like acorn harvest? Oh yeah, because that's the one that... uh, Flashbacks. But you have to pay a little bit of life. Yeah. Slightly more sinister squirrels on that one. All right, so what's your next card? Timothy Dalton, another (laughs) British icon. Green tap. Timothy fights another target creature. <laughs> so now we got James Bond. D- Timothy Dalton was James Bond for two movies for the people who aren't uh, up on their James Bond lore. Or their Timothy lore. Or their Timothy lore. Uh, James Bond always needs gadget in order to get his job done. A gun or special shoes that mm-hmm. let him uh, fly. I don't think there's any other green card that just tap it, have itself fight something else. And this is a Tim at the moment until you give him his gadgets. A bunch of the pingers back in the day would also hurt themselves. There was Psionic Entity, which would deal two to a target and three damage to itself, but only had two toughness. I mean, you can run giant growth with it and it gets rid of another bigger creature. Any chunky aura throwing out plus one, plus one counters. Is is James Bond, or I guess this isn't a James Bond card. This is a Timothy Dalton card. Right, this is a Timothy Dalton card. I was going to ask if James Bond was green, but maybe it doesn't matter what James Bond does. It matters what Timothy Dalton is. And he is apparently a a green wizard. (laughs) My fifth edition is Keepsake Sorcerer. Imprint, when Vettelkin Sorcerer enters the battlefield, you may exile an instant card with converted mana cost one or less from your hand. Tap, you may copy the exiled card. If you do, you may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. Hmm, Issachron Scepter on a creature. We can't quite get up to two mana, but we trade that for cheaper activation cost. Mm -hmm. We're a little more vulnerable because we're on a creature instead of on an artifact. Do you know what the ideal spell to put in this is? Would it be Silence? (laughs) <laughs> okay, so you're playing to win here. <laughs> I, I lived through the Meriden Times, Tinker to Icecrown Scepter, Orm Strength. Uh, That's what I'm thinking. I know you're going to say Lightning Bolt is the ideal card to play on it. You're close. But what? What, what is it? Hornet Sting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You got me. You've got a blue and green to do a red, red thing. Next card is Tim Horton's The Not So Brave. <laughs> tap, Tim does one damage to target creature, or tap and exert Tim, it deals two damage to target creature or player. Going up to two damage, that's pretty spicy. Is it worth the two damage to exert? Well, you're not losing out on total damage. A lot of the time, probably, yeah. The card that was inspired this, Feverant Paincaster, tap, deal one damage to target player, tap and exert it, it deals one damage to target creature. 
you get three power and it can rumble a little bit. It's always weird for me to have a high power pinger. Oh, I'm the black red mono removal deck. I can clear the board off and at least clock my opponent. Or you want something with with vigilance to allow it to use both halves. Yeah, I guess in the case of something like pirate ship. The size of the creature was very different from the amount of damage it can deal with this tap ability. Like I'm either rumbling for four, or I'm plinging away for one. Well, it's also it might feel better because it because it has Island Home. Oh yeah, that's true. Island Home basically said it can't attack if your opponent doesn't have any islands, which makes sense flavorfully. Oh, they don't have any islands. I can at least fire my cannon. I'm not just a serpent who's sitting on my couch watching serpent YouTube. My seventh edition is Hex Sorcerer. It's a zero zero. Tap, remove a counter from target permanent. When you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on a hex sorcerer. And it has modular one. So this is, uh, and it was energy. Like power conduit or? Yes, it's a creature power conduit. Moving counters around, getting bigger. Target from target permanent, which means a creature. So if you if you take it away from it, deals one damage to it. Yeah. We're dealing the damage and keeping the spoils. We got to sneak more ways to not hard answer planeswalkers, but just, you know, keep them under control a little bit. Well, this is a little bit of blacks spot in the color pie yeah when we're talking about something like hex parasite uses black phyrexian mana would you would you want to remove more than one or would you just want to have it be one i think my intention was to keep it at one so that it was closer to that tim style for my eighth edition tim curry shrubbery master red green green (laughs) tap tim deals one damage to a creature whenever a creature dealt damage by tim curry this turn dies create an 01 green plant token Somehow the red and the mana cost, I, that's what the tap to deal damage is from. But it just makes it feel extra aggressive that I'm firing this plant seed into a poor goblin. And they're exploding <laughs> and a beautiful flower comes out. Monty Python, shrubbery. I would also accept a 1-1 one, one sapperling as well, too. Yeah. You create O one one plant tokens, they're going to be there for blockers. So you can mm. keep doing damage to creatures and creating more blockers. The one damage kind of means that Mr. Curry here isn't necessarily the one causing the death it's more like a dog pile mm-hmm. like oh there's some combat happening anyhow i'll get my plant out of it if you wanted to combo it with something obvious choice would be intruder alarm <laughs> because then you can create infinite plant tokens that you keep shooting and they keep dying every time a creature comes into play on tap everybody else hey just need a second tim somewhere we got a tim deck going tim tribal tim tribal joshly Kwai <laughs> would be very happy about this card in that tim deck shrubbery master mm-hmm. i wonder which role Tim Curry played a plant <laughs> horticulture. I just, I, I just want to see Tim Curry again. That's all I want. He was great in Clue. And there's also Rocky Horror. Oh yeah, where he said like uh, anticipate. So my ninth edition is Prodigal Scion. It has an ability Psychic. This creature deals damage to players in the form of milling, and to creatures in the form of minus X minus O until end of turn. And it has Tap. Prodigal Scion deals one damage to any target. I, I do like the flavor text on this. For the last time, there's no C. What is that a reference to? Silent. <laughs> it was a little bit different in my mind. It was the Douglas Schuler misprints from back in the day. The original artists of both Prodigal Sorcerer and Psionic Blast. They wrote his name wrong. Oh, did they? The first year, yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> very deep cut. So this is this is an offshoot of um, Infect. Yeah, yeah, kind of in the same zone as Wither Infect. Psychic would only work as if it pinks because if you're doing damage in combat it just wouldn't yeah it's already doing the damage because you don't get to deal the damage fast enough to avoid being hurt back Mm -hmm. the milling i'm pretty happy with you probably even amp up the numbers a little bit dealing mill damage you probably get to deal twice as much i can imagine some combat tricks that do this deal four psychic damage so it either mills for four or you know they're blue combat tricks that sap things power people love milling they do love milling do you like milling (laughs) Uh, I'm kind of a blue mage, so I have to sort of like support milling, but not particularly. <laughs> I love self milling. I mean, this I and mean, you can mill yourself with this too. There's a lot of yeah. you want to mill. Get some big delves going. For my tenth edition card, you know I've given you a lot of Tims. Yeah. Any other famous Tims come to mind? Uh, Tim Allen. Tim Allen. That's a that's a good Tim. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to know what Tim we're bringing here. Yeah, we're not bringing a Tim this time. It is oh. Nightcrawler, <laughs> King of Camelot. <laughs> <laughs> what? I am continuing the Monty Python. One red, white, white. Flash. Haste. Okay. Tap. Nightcrawler deals one damage to target creature. X, white, red. Exile Nightcrawler. Then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control, where X is equal to the number of times Nightcrawler has left the battlefield this turn. 3-2. I know Excalibur got up to some weird stuff 
Was Nightcrawler the king of Camelot at some point? So, no, this is Nightcrawler from the X-Men. Some Kurt Wagner action. Yeah, exactly. I don't think anybody named Tim does, has voiced him, but I could be wrong there. Catch me, Cyclops. I got you, Nightcrawler. It's like the fight scene in X2 at the very beginning. Come into play, shoot something, and have it leave play. Yeah, the scaling cost is kind of nice. Two mana for one damage, three, then four, then five. So we're getting a little bit of blinkiness from white. We're getting a whole bunch of damage and haste and all that from red. So do we have any commander combos with this card? You probably have mana echoes. Whenever a creature enters a battlefield, you may add one colorless to your mana pool for each creature you control that shares a creature type with it. Mm -hmm. So if this was a human, if you have another one, you can keep adding mana for the uh, ability at the end. Ooh. Flavor question. What? Creature type would mutants be? Are mutants humans? There's a mutant creature type. Okay, so he, sh he should be like a mutant rogue. Mutant yeah. clerk. <laughs> okay. Depends on what version of Nightcrawler yeah, you're going yeah, for. Yeah. Pandemonium. Oh, what's that? Pandemonium. Whenever a creature enters a battlefield, a creature's controller may mm. have it deal damage equal to its power to a creature player of his or her choice. Now I'm feeling good about this, because okay. each time we blink, we're getting four damage out of it. We're getting the three and the one. I was just trying to get that tap to deal damage on a blue card. Confrontational Sorcerer. Tap Confrontational Sorcerer deals one damage to target spell. The spell is countered if it's dealt damage meeting or exceeding its converted mana cost. I'm thinking. If you could see me, I'm thinking. <laughs> you get to team up a little bit. Just tapping to counter spells is pretty obnoxious because it discourages people from playing expensive things. Mm -hmm. But if a lot of where blue is getting their counters is countering by damaging spells, well, now they're extra good at countering cheap spells and less good at countering expensive spells. You could team up multiple of these sorcerers, or maybe you have this sorcerer plus another thing you're casting to team up to take a spell down. Say you've got a lightning bolt. It would either deal two damage to something, or it could stop a spell up to three mana. Yeah, I guess if it says any target and we open that up to spells, lightning bolt gets a big upgrade. You would have to reword it back from any target. Yeah, originally Lightning Bolt said any target, then it specified as targets. Now it just says any target again. Maybe this card worked better in that middle period where we were always spelling out everything we could possibly target. So could you prevent damage then? Yeah, you can't counter my spell because I just prevented the damage you're dealing with my spell. Would that make white good? I mean, it would make white more interactive on the stack. You could have an indestructible spell. <laughs> <laughs> Trample. <laughs> Deal damage go. to a... To a spell and the rest of it yeah. damage, tramples over to the player. That's like the is it counters. It deals seven damage to a spell and anything that in excess spills over. Blue would not counter spells. They would do damage to spells. So thanks for joining us for another 11th edition. If you've got your own version of Prodigal Sorcerer or a request for the next 11th edition, comment below. You can follow us on Twitter at Magic Design Cast and at MTG Color Pie. Thanks for watching. Patient.